I'm Mark Swatka, the General Secretary of PCS, and I'm issuing this latest campaign message to all of our activists in PCS to just review where we are with the national campaign. Now, since I last did one of these videos, we've had quite a lot of industrial action. We had the magnificent one-day strike on the 20th of March on Budget Day. We then had a half-day national strike on April the 5th, followed on April the 8th by colleagues in HMRC and parts of the Home Office. Since then, we've gone into our group rolling phase of industrial action and we've had four days of strikes across the Home Office. And I want to start by thanking everybody for all the hard work that went into making those days of action such a success. We had fabulous levels of support for the national action and our early reports from the Home Office group was that the action that we took, which was delivered differently to things we've done in the past, was also very, very successful. I can now tell you that the National Disputes Committee has authorised the next phase of action in groups and that's going to involve action in the public sector group, in the Scottish sector and in the EFRA group. And obviously people should look out on the website for details of this and where you can ensure that if you can support your colleagues on the picket lines or send them messages of support that we very much encourage you to do so. Now I want to acknowledge that delivering all of this action has been difficult. We're in a very difficult period, other unions are not currently taking industrial action and the fact that we're trying to take different forms of strike action has in some cases thrown up issues where the employer has become quite aggressive and it's been hard to organise. But all of our soundings tell us that the action has not only been effective but actually the employer dislikes the short term disruptive action and that we think vindicates this as a tactic going forward. And so what we now want to do is to remind ourselves of this difficult stage of the campaign. Why are we doing it? Well, we're doing it because, as we now know, pay restraint that you've suffered for years has been extended another year in the Chancellor's budget. We've had pension contribution rises for the overwhelming bulk of our members within the last few days. We have had no progress on talks on facilities or industrial relations. And to top it all off, the Cabinet Office and Francis Maud still stubbornly refuse to negotiate with this union on all of these important questions. That's why our action needs to continue. And over the next month, that will now take place in every group across the union. And I want to urge you to do everything you can to make it a success when it comes to your particular group in PCS. So that when we get to the PCS conference and we analyse the way forward, we know that we have tried our hardest to get the government around the negotiating table by delivering well-supported action. In the meantime, we continue to talk to other unions. You'll probably be aware that the teaching unions will be starting industrial action themselves later in June, and we continue to have discussions with our colleagues at the TUC. But in the here and now, we need to rely on ourselves. And to do that, we need to stick together and deliver as many members as we can. So thank you for all your hard work. Please support the campaign and let's ensure this is the year that we remember as the one where they forced the government to negotiate and some of these dreadful attacks on our members were stopped.